Vilshoven is only a two-hour train from Munich. Here on weekends, you will find their world-famous floating Christmas market. Now, with a name like World Famous, it sets very high expectations, which unfortunately, I was very disappointed. But it is definitely worth the visit. The floating market is located on an old ship filled with many stalls of crafts. And they also have their traditional Christmas market outside as well. The boat is very crowded, but very warm. So it's a great place to warm up from the freezing nights. You can also find some great products here that you won't find at any other Christmas market. But not to worry, they also have the traditional items as well. yummy traditional foods such as their bratwurst, as well as their traditional glue wine, a hot spiced wine. Tonight I tried their hot chocolate with whipped cream. Munich is a very large and busy market. They have one market after another. This is the Christmas village in the Kaiserhof. This market is located in the courtyard of Munich's city palace, the residence. It is very crowded and you are unable to move, so if you like that sort of thing, this is the place for you. They have their traditional goods, but for a bratwurst, it's at least an hour wait, so I got this yummy pizza. It was delicious. Walking a little further, I came to their number one market, Munich's Christ Kindle Market in Marion Platz Square. It dates back to the 14th century. It was absolutely amazing with the romantic backdrops. Now with the war going on, they do have an energy crisis going on, so they have chosen not to light up their government buildings and churches. But the Christmas decorations were amazing. So great shopping and traditional food, as well as other treats such as strudel, which can't be missed. And do not forget the blue wine to warm you up. And then the final one I walked by was Carl's Platz. The cool thing about this one is they have an ice skating rink. Vienna is a beautiful city and offers many great markets. My favorite is the one at Schönbrunn Palace, within the breathtaking palace surrounding. Yeah, so you can just do the hands down. Yeah. Those are all pedestals, we're all thinking. Enjoy the Christmas Village on Maria Theresian Square. It is located between the Museum of Natural History and the Museum of Art. It is festively decorated and you can find some local finds here as well as culinary delights. And of course, don't forget the glue wine. Enjoy the Viennese Dream Christmas Market in front of the City Hall, the Rathaus. It is definitely a highlight, and highlight for children of all ages. They also offer programs inside the city hall where children can learn to make cookies and candles. Besides the many wonderful products to buy and the smell of the tantalizing smells, you can also stroll and enjoy their many colorful lights. Vienna is also experiencing an energy crisis due to the war, and so their lights go on an hour later and they turn off two hours earlier, as well as most of their buildings are not fully lit. Bratislava is one Christmas market many miss, but definitely should not. It is very small with only the one market, but you will still find the popular items and at a price you won't find anywhere else. Better than anywhere in Austria and Germany. They offer great food, 
as well as their mole wine and many treats. And finally, my number one Christmas market, Budapest. Definitely my favorite. They definitely did a great job on their decorations. You will also find all of the great products here that you will find anywhere else as well as some local treasures. Here the prices are at least half the price that you will find in Austria and Germany. The food here is amazing. You have more options here than anywhere else that I've found. With plenty of the favorites, especially the Hungarian goulash. It is fabulous. Also, I'm not a wine person, but here I was a little spoiled when I tried their mole wine. It was absolutely amazing. A spiced hot wine that warms you up from the inside out. And don't forget the chimney cakes. Delicious. Well, thanks for joining me on my top five European Christmas markets. And for more must-see destinations, please hit that subscribe button.